So about a week ago, I got the real itch to start playing City Skylines again. Now, when I say playing it again, I've previously played it for about three or four hours. I haven't really given it enough time. I bought it years ago because I got quite interested in watching people do it. And I've always been a massive fan of the Sim City franchise. My biggest problem when I've played Sim City in the past is that it is very hard to manage money and you can quite quickly run out of money because of the way taxes and everything else works. It's very difficult on the player to try and keep the money balancing and ultimately your money just keeps going down and down and down and it just becomes no fun. What I've seen of City Skylines though is that it's a lot more balanced and I think it's a lot easier to manage the incomings and the outgoings. So that's why I picked it up having seen other people play it. Yeah, so I've decided let's jump into it. Let's give it another go and we'll be playing it as YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's jump into a brand new game. I don't want anywhere that's like all water or all forests or anything. Looks like it's got a river running through it. It's basically a European theme as well. One of these two. Maybe this one. This one doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're going to call our town New Boston. And yes, we want left-hand traffic because, you know, real countries in this world drive on the left-hand side of the road. Everybody else uh, has it wrong. All right. So let's begin. Uh, okay. So I have completely forgotten how to play this game. I'll be completely honest. So the tutorials are probably going to be a godsend for me. We currently have... Um, 70,000 in the bank. All right, so where are we going to start? I mean, I guess we're going to start here, right? I mean, this is obviously the freeway where people can actually come into our town or our city. Okay, so let's let's see about building a road. I mean, I guess we're just going to come off. Do we want the highway to end here? Or should we just... I don't know. I mean, we can always upgrade our roads and everything later, right? All right, let's... Like, we're already, like... Just doing stupid stuff here and, and let's just build something and let's just build uh oh that's nice nice way i don't have to hold and drag that's, that's cool but let's just build nice little area like this so now we can zone um i mean we've got the three different zones at the minute residential Commercial and industrial. I guess it's industrial. And that that's this D zone. So I mean, residential is going to be the most important. Okay, I, I've already seen a problem here. So clearly here you can't um, zone anything there. So it kind of makes sense, I guess, to build some other roads through here and then we can go to our zoning we can zone them like so one thing that might become apparent during this i like my symmetry then we can have some commercial properties there i mean that's that's gonna trigger me slightly i'll be honest the fact that it's not square not like lined up there um that's fine now i know for a fact we're going to need some um water i'm, I'm thinking here though we should probably we'll, we'll keep it away um i think it's very important to like have your different areas here oh man this this building's a bit weird you know what i don't like that I don't like that. I think what it is, is it's the fact that like this bit here. I think what I maybe should have done is like something like this. Then that. We can have like a little. Like that. That squares everything off. And then instead of going straight into that area there, you'll have to actually come to here. I mean, this might cause a bit of a. This might be a bottleneck later or further down the line but i don't think we need to worry about that too much at the moment. that's better everything's looking a bit more square i kind of wish it would like fill that whole whole area there but hey ho okay so we've got nice bit of industrial space there 
which is cool. We've got an economy panel. What's this? Budgets for... Okay, budgets, taxes. So that's like water and utilities. Um, yeah, utilities. I guess we're going to need some electricity. I guess... First things first, we should probably go for noise pollution. So we're probably going to want to have this... We could have these over like more over the industrial kind of area. I'm not particularly bothered about whether the industry um here's the wind turbines as long as they're like, away from the residential i think that's the most important i wonder if power like can automatically connects i know on sim city um as long as it was connected to a road or something it would like feed the rest of the city we're probably gonna need water though as well right, okay let's start off with the water tower i guess quite i need to work out oh there we go okay so I could put the water tower, like, right in the middle here. That wouldn't affect... And then, I guess, that would cover at least all the houses. I think I'm going to need power lines. But that is connected to that, so... Do I just need to put it anywhere where... Like this, maybe? Is that how it works? Oh, that's not connected. How about now? Uh, I'm not sure that's how... That's meant to work, it seems. Oh no, we are we we have power. Okay, things are happening. Things are starting to happen. So my power thing disappeared. We have our first buildings being built. We have our first people moving in. Huzzah! Okay, what does that mean? Sewage is backing up. Okay, we need um so we need sewage treatment plant, right? I guess we could do this. So we pump it out to there. And then, do we just connect it up to the water tower? Is that how we do that? There we go. Okay, the sewage is no longer backing up. Okay, we've got our first bit of industry going in here. I don't have any water. Let's do that, I guess. That's still not... Oh, there we go. Water's flowing now. Excellent. Blackout again? Okay, who's... Who's... Okay, let's... Let's just hold on a minute. Um, there's plenty of electricity look for our needs. Oh, hold on a minute. We've got an issue there. We haven't got any power going to our sewage treatment plant. It's, um... Not particularly good, is it? Oh, maybe I need to bulldoze some of these trees out the way first. I feel like I'm doing that the long, uh, a difficult way. Okay. I feel like that took me a long time to do. I couldn't, like, get it sorted for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so sewage plant is up and running. We do need to build another form of energy, though, I, unfortunately. So let's put in another turbine here. Okay, so our capacity is now up to 7 megawatts, which is plenty for what we need at the minute. Our water availability and sewage treatment is also in the green, so... So these people over here are saying they're not getting any water. I'm seeing lots of money going out, but nothing coming in. We maybe like re start reducing our energy consumption and water consumptions at night time, maybe. Because we're spending like nearly 800. Is this monthly? I guess that's monthly, right? 
Let's leave it at that for now. We can't do anything with taxes at the minute, so I think we're going to need to... Can we zone some more areas? Zone some more. And... Cover it off with the water. I wonder if, like, giving a bigger area like this will mean it's, like, zone 2 residential. That'll be interesting to see. Probably not a good idea to put that there, if I'm honest. Because there might be a lot of traffic coming in off this highway. Okay, well, we're uh, starting to run a little low. Just go for it. Let's go for all-in residentials. Okay, so we're just ticking away here. Um, we've got new residents moving into the new zoned areas. Um, electricity is looking just adequate. Which is interesting. Now it's not, as these new houses are being turned on. So is that because I reduce my budget at night time and it's technically night time? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so it was the night time thing. So let's reduce it slightly. Let's go for 80% on electricity. Uh, 85? Okay. And uh, water is fine. I mean, we've got water for days at the minute. So we can probably reduce that. So we're using like 7,000 cubic meters a week, whereas our capacity is nearly 15. And our sewerage is fine. So let's just reduce these temporarily. And uh, we'll see. We've got an unpopular mayor achievement as well. What do we do for that? But we're, we're starting to make money now. That's interesting. It's not my stone. So we have to reach a population of 440. What's going on with the waterworks? Thought we had loads of capacity here. Oh, okay. There's one little building over here which isn't covered. So we need 440 to be able to unlock taxes and loans, garbage, healthcare, education, and then we've got some new buildings coming at 440. So we might need to um build a few more zones i think we are starting to make money though now that's that's the important thing also um what's going on with the power okay yikes okay our power is now totally inadequate here but we was like generating seven megawatts before so why is that now dropped down i wonder okay that's better so we're just on the bubble there. We're just on the bubble with um, electricity. So the minute residential happiness is on the lowest as well when we look at these stats here. They're like 7%, which isn't great. All right, let's just go for a real big uh, residential area here. Maybe a bit too big. Okay. Residential, residential. You see, I don't know what to do like with this space in the middle. It's it's such wasted space. So I guess we're probably just gonna have to like do this this as much as i like kind of wanted to get away from building squares and rectangles of zoned areas it seems like that's gonna be the way we go here so let's make sure we got the water coming in try and be a bit more efficient here with our coverage Okay, we're going to have to also take into account we're going to need an extra an extra power plant here, an extra wind turbine because it's not going to 
we're not going to have enough capacity with all of these new houses being built here. I think also industrial is maybe getting a little bit annoyed, potentially, with down, but I'd rather have it in the industrial area rather than anywhere else. I mean, the population is dwindling. We're almost out of money as well. This is not good. We overspent in our first episode. We just want to make the 440 so that we can start taxing people. All right, we're almost made 440. There we go. Okay, so we made 440. Next achievement is 900, but now we can do taxes and loans. And garbage. Okay, so let's pause affairs here. And let's check out taxes. We've got to start making money straight away, right? Let's charge a little bit less on residential. So we've got 7%. And then 8% eight, eight commercial. I'm just thinking we need to probably tax industrial more. I think if we like drop the that slightly, but then compensate with commercial. So like only 9% of our in income is coming from commercial at the minute. So we're making like about almost twelve hundred, twelve hundred dollars. I think we'll call it. It's uh, twelve hundred dollars per month at the moment before we change the taxes. So let's um, let's change that a little bit. Now we've got access to new public services, haven't we? So I think healthcare is going to be pretty important here. So we'll have healthcare. And we're also going to want a school landfill site. I'm thinking, let's pause while we do this, just so we're not um, ticking away at time too much. Landfill probably wants to be over here, right near the sewage, so it's like way out of the way of everything. I'm guessing the landfill site doesn't need electricity. Okay, so even with like these extra amenities, the citizen happiness is still pretty low is a yikes okay water and electricity are really starting to um get a little sparse here and we're gonna have to up our water capacity by 20 percent maybe okay that gives us a lot actually that gives us way more capacity than we need so maybe take it to 60. i mean that's still being pretty generous okay it still gives us leeway we're down to our last thousand dollars here, though. That's a bit yikes. All right, what's going on here? Spins are sick. Why is everybody sick? Is that like a water poisoning thing? Oh, dear. Why is everybody... How do you find out more information about, like, people being sick? Why is my gar- I'm so confused. Why is my garbage processing percentage at zero? One percent full. And there's two out of 15 trucks in use. Everybody here. Why is everybody here? Is it just that everybody is not covered by the- The hospital? They, they look like they're covered. I think I'm just going to ride this out for a minute just to see whether or not they all these residents start getting better. I'm not sure what it is that's causing all of them to be sick, but it's like only these ones over here, which is quite interesting. But I'm down to like $47. This is not good. I'm going to have to take a loan already. I can take a $20,000 loan over 50, 52 weeks, which costs me $403 to pay back. I think I gotta take a loan. I can't believe like my first my first like six months in the job and I'm already failing miserably. Why are my citizens like constantly sick? Oh, 
I've like got another hundred citizens now sick. Do we just give more capacity to healthcare? I mean, is, is it that my drinking water is not clean? Have I got an issue with my drinking water? Oh my god, I'm such a terrible mayor. All right, I'm going to have to just... I'm going to have to bite the bullet. And we're going to just increase the capacity here of this. Drop healthcare back down for the time being. And that's the only thing I can think is that because I am reduced the the water budget, it's having an Im it's having an effect here on my population. I know we'll see. What have I done wrong with my water? Also, I've just about lost all of my freaking money. I don't get it. I don't get what's going on with my water. I have like my availability and my treatment is all in the green. I have the capacity for it. So why is... Is it because of my piping network? Is it because of the way I've built my pipes? All right, this is, this is going to cost me an absolute arm and a leg. Okay. Water isn't there at the minute. Okay, I've just, like, rebuilt my entire sewage network. I am completely out of money again. But I want to see now, if, like, now that I've tidied my pipes up, does this improve the flow? And does this stop everyone in being sick? Okay, I'm still, like, I'm still hemorrhaging money, and all of my residents are still sick. Uh, I've lost all my money. I have completely and utterly failed. <laughs> oh my god. This is like the worst. It's like I've just checked again my healthcare and it's not going down. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. This has not been a good first attempt. Have I also lost my water capacity now? Oh no, they're just not covered by that. Oh. Okay. I just had a thought. Um, I can't take another loan. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking... Is my mistake that my sewerage plant is connected to my water tower? Is that my issue? Should it just be connected to a regular pipe? I mean, I can't... The, the problem is I can't try it because... I have no money. Because, like, it's going back to there and then going out. So it's everything's coming through this. My sewerage plant is extracting the sewerage via the water tower. Is that my problem? Probably won't work, but if I was like to disable that, do people stop getting sick? Now there's just like no sewerage to take the stuff away. It's so difficult, like to... How are you meant to do anything when you've got no money? I just want $220. I'm starting to think that that is the issue. But I don't think there's any way back from this. Oh, okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to restart. It's like, I can't take a loan. And I've still got like 43 weeks left to pay on that loan. I mean, look at my expenditure to my, my in, my in. Okay, so what we could do, here we go. Let's try and do this. We're going to have to, it's drastic. Let's turn off all our services here. This might kill our entire population. But are we able to claw this back? Uh, no, I think we just killed our town. <laughs> oh no! I know it looks bad, guys. Don't, don't, don't desert me. 
Just just see me through. Just see me through this period of hardship. Give me some money. Help me out. No, everyone's everyone's either dying or leaving. Okay. Well, I think what we can safely ascertain from this is this was a complete and utter failure. I, I, I can only assume that because my sewerage pipe was connected to my water tower, that's why everybody was getting sick. But if anybody knows, and that's not the case, let me know in the comments. But I think what I'm going to have to do realistically now is just admit defeat. And um, clearly I wasn't destined in this uh, town to get past a population of 600-odd. Uh, so, yeah. What we'll do is the next time we come back to this, I will start over again. We'll try and take on board the lessons we learned from the first um, our first attempt, which clearly failed. And hopefully we'll be able to make some progress. Thanks, though, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, I guess, the comedy, because that's all we can really say. It was just a complete comedy of errors, this, um, this town building program. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you've got any tips or, like I say, if you can tell me why my sewerage system was completely fine all my clients were getting sick then please do let me know but until next time guys thank you very much for watching take care and happy gaming